In this episode we are going to mine some goody goods in our case. But in this episode we won't only be mining. We will also do other awesome stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Go, attack him, attack him. Go my pet, go. You know. No! Okay, in order to get some tasty ores, we need to organize our inventory a little bit. And while doing it, I've noticed that I have potatoes that I can plant on our brand new farm from episode 1. We also have to do one more thing. Ta-da! Maybe some of you noticed that I totally forgot about taking this gold block behind the nether portal. So I went to swim back to grab it. Our first boat in the series. Man, it's sleek. Wait, actually, I don't want to go to this side of the mountain. I want to go... Okay, I, I, we are taking you with us. Who's good boy? Who's good boy? Damn, I really need bones for these guys. Okay, let's... What is that? Ah, never mind. I thought that this was some kind of a tower or something like that. Either way... Let's go here. Actually, I believe I can yoink this ugly block here. I don't think that... Whoa, no, no, no. But there is more here. Wait, 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 guys. Uh, I've learned teleportation trick. So, watch out, watch out, watch out, and... Click! like shiny stuff right we will see this if i put it here yeah but i will probably forget about this block put this stuff back let me just melt this bit of food and since it's night time i don't want any monsters lurking nearby then i thought that's finally time to conquer depths of my world and i was really hoping for some nice iron now since we only have 10 of it left at the moment I was thinking that with full iron set, I should be good and dominant in these caves. But let me tell you, I couldn't be more wrong. Oh, I play too many horror, horror games, you know. I thought that this was some kind of enemy just hovering over. Oh, it gave me chills though. Okay, we have redstone. I love this. No, guys. Why? It's a curse or what? Freaking water caves. Who invented this stuff? Then I made kind of a mistake because I decided to explore it and without any water gear it went like this. I'm safe. Okay. Oh, pro gamer move right here. So I basically bailed out after that but through another exit. And boom, we are in the mine shafts already. Okay, up these ra rails because why not? Okay, now please hear me out and don't be angry. I don't know how I did it, but I left mineshafts and decided to explore the caves. Turns out I was completely slammed by mobs there and I did not return in this episode to explore mineshafts further. Sorry guys, but hard mode has some difficulty of its own and my gear combined with lack of food made it really hard to beat it. As you will see in a moment. Either way, we will soon see some noise looking caves that are very spacious and mineshafts can always be revisited in the future. Oh my god, who's a good boy? So many good boys in this episode. This, that wolf up there, me. And we have first a gold ore in this series. Or, I mean, block we should have on the day one. But I screwed up. If you are enjoying this episode, please consider subscribing and dropping a like since working on these videos takes very much time and getting help from you with YouTube algorithm, even if it's a little bit, will be very much appreciated. Thank you guys. Nah, he's just stuck. Okay. Is that... Is that another geode here? I'm not the best caveman, okay? Oh, 
I want to share that in this series we will try to focus on getting all achievements because it sounds like a lot of fun and by itself is a great challenge on hard mode. For now though, let's mine some more to use it and we are going to kill you. Bye. Okay, don't interrupt me next time. Everyone, oh my god, where those came from? I kinda know. This episode will not be mostly mining, of course, so don't... You are ruining my day, okay? How long? 15 seconds? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's after all hard mode, right? So... Okay, but... You know what? But I can hear zombie that is rushing. Okay. Okay, I, I, I... Army! Army of zombies that... No, 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 go. What is that? Oh my god. Yep. Mind that all for me. No, 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 no. I have to have it. Okay, this is our goal right now. To me. Nice, and we have music disc. So many mobs didn't disappear. But, you know. No! Oh, oh my god. I promise I could so heaven. Pretty damn easy. Okay. Go spider, go, go for it. Oh, it's the brawl here. It is a brawl here. Go, nice. Okay, now no, this, this one, this one. Go, attack him, attack him. Go, my pet, go. <laughs> here. Let me just grab this slime. Where is that slime? After very long search, I found no slime, so it must have despawned by now. I then decided to go back to the surface, and I saw this. It's very oh, and we have our first, our first food here. Then, using the string I got from caves, I've crafted a bow. And to my surprise, wandering trader spawned in. He didn't have any good trades though, but thanks to him, I discovered that under our village is a water cave. Then I replanted our farm and went to look for a new friend. Okay, you will be Jimmy, you know. And you can see it on top of this. After this, I decided that I want my door to be from all food. Not what we should be doing. But hey. <laughs> yeah, this was stupid. I decided that this is a great time to set up auto smelter, so I got to work. I picked a spot for it just behind my house, so it's close and stays loaded all the time. We want this here. We want this and this here. This and this. And this. We also have map and cartography table for our adventures that are coming very soon. And since we are going to explore our world, I decided this time is perfect to start breeding animals, but in order to do it, I had to build animal sector for our village first. When it comes to this breeder, I chose that spot because it's very close to my crops and I would be able to easily breed animals using stuff that we can grow. I was pretty pleased that I had to clean this area from trees since we are low on furnace fuel as well as on wood and that should boost our supplies in both of these cases, well, at least for a while. I have in mind that this plot is only a temporary solution, but for starters, the design I'm making should be enough to keep the supplies flowing and early to mid-game. While preparing the ground for fences, I decided to use existing staircase and pathway to make nice looking entrance to the whole village. On the first episode, we came from this side, so it's just a must have in my opinion, since it points directly to the spawn area. I also believe that now I can share with you that we will probably be doing house somewhere in the big mountain. But that's not yet achievable for us since we are still in early game. And having this path pointing to the mountain creates a ton of opportunities for future builds. 
I had some troubles while building this animal pen at night since enemies started to spawn in, but the dream of having Bass and Breeder was far more powerful than any of these mere zombies. I divided the whole animal area to three pens. One pen was destined for sheep, one for cows and one for pigs or horses, I don't know yet. I also created a little pathway connecting the main entrance path to the spot where our Morstens were standing in the first episode. Okay now, guys, it's your turn to shine. Drop a comment down below if you think that Middlelands is a good name for this village. And also, if we should call region surrounding the mountain Middlelands too, maybe we'll come up with something different. Either way, comment with the most votes will have this signpost changed in the next episode. For now, we also need a simple well for our animals, and this little project was just begging to have some sort of secret use. And I decided to connect the bottom of the well with our river next to crops. I know, I know, you will say that I hate underwater caves, but at least this one has some specific use though. And it just looks really nice. I really like how it turned out to be. Of course, I also need to decorate this area with some hay, but for now, we don't have that and we need time. Next thing on our list is getting some animals here and exploring. Hopefully a lot of exploring. It was simply Jake, thanks and see you guys.